These are the six vaccines once recommended by the CDC that no longer are. So we're taking a look at some of these viruses to see how they can impact your body and how easy it is to contract them. Our sources are family physician Dr. Carla Robinson and the Mayo Clinic. First, let's take a look at hepatitis A and B. Both of them are viral infections that tend to inflame the liver and, you know, in some cases can go on to be um, pretty severe infections that can have lasting complications as well. Robinson says hepatitis A is typically a foodborne illness, while hepatitis B is usually sexually transmitted. According to the Mayo Clinic, both hepatitis vaccines are given in a series of doses for full protection. Dr. Robinson says they are usually given to children and should protect them for life. The virus is active and it does exist in the community. And so it's definitely something that you should be protecting yourself against. Another vaccine that is now not recommended is the meningococcal vaccine. Most colleges require this vaccine because Robinson says it's easily transmitted while living in close quarters like dorm rooms. The Mayo Clinic says meningitis can cause swelling in the brain and spinal cord. A very serious infection. Uh, common symptoms are typically high fever, stiff neck, lasting complications that can be very, very serious and in some cases even even fatal complications as well. Even though these vaccines are no longer recommended for all children, Dr. Robinson says getting vaccines are still a good way to not contract these diseases. Vaccines are one of the best protections that we have against infection. 